What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Recording. It would appear that even the most strident, far-lefty reporters, shill media for the Rings of Power, are getting nervous. They're looking around. They're thinking, maybe we should start telling the truth about this show and stop talking about it as a 10 out of 10 dazzling masterpiece. And if you don't like it, you don't like brown people. That's right. The narrative has been shifting this week. And even uh, uh, fanboy... Paul Tassie over at Forbes, by the way, Paul's always been a good sport. And so I don't mean to throw really any shade his way. And even though I generally uh, disagree with his opinions on like political takes, I think his takes on video games are very solid. And generally in, uh, in uh, 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 media, you know, like uh, entertainment is, is usually okay. Unless it's again, something that's inherently political. This is from Paul Tassi. Amazon has a long road ahead plan for Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. It's billion dollar series with plans to allegedly run as long as five years. But even though this show has set records for Amazon viewership, it almost had to. He, what he means there is like, I mean, it wasn't going to have less viewers than The Boys uh, or A League of Their Own or um, Terminal List. You know, like it just, I mean, come on, it's Lord of the Rings. As we hit the halfway point of season one, it seems the audiences on the whole, <laughs> preparation age, have not been swayed by the series. While I expected the various controversies the show generated to result in a barrage of negative reviews right at launch, there you are, Polly, this, the weeks that followed have not brought any sort of relief for the show. By all available metrics, there is no place on the internet where fans have rallied to give the show consistently high marks with scores not having improved noticeably the more episodes that have been rolled out which you sometimes see after initial period of review brigading or skepticism here's where things stand after four weeks rotten tomatoes 85 now at 85 has been pretty much locked in it's almost like when you have episodes this kind of huge and long and epic I'd almost like to see reviews for each individual episode um, because they can stand alone. And also it would show like if the show is improving, right? Um, but they don't do it that way. So, I mean, I think that would be interesting to see on a graph. And then we have the audience score still at 39%. Now that is embarrassing. Metacritic, critics are at 71 out of 100 with a 2.4 out of 10 audience score. That's a 24%. IMDb, parentheses, owned by Amazon. Thank you for the transparency, Paul Tassi. A 7 out of 10. And Google audience, a 3.2 out of 5. And honestly, a 3.2 out of 5 is a pretty high score. That's a 6.4 out of 10. It's a 64%. Now, I think you could make an impassioned speech as to why... As a generic fantasy, the show could have a 50 or a 60 out of 100 score. But certainly, I think that still would be pretty high for Lord of the Rings. Now, of course, Amazon initially turned off during launch week. says at a 3.3 out of 5. Everyone does not like me comparing Rings of Power to HBO's also high-budget fantasy series House of the Dragon. But needless to say, despite, despite enduring... Similar initial race and gender based casting controversies, its audience scores are much higher. The low scores are generally the product of either fans saying the show strays too much from Tolkien's original world or just not thinking the series is very well written or paced. So, what is he, what is Paul Tassi admitting here to us? Well, he's admitting that. The reviews for the show are actually based on the show. Now, Paul Tassi has long been one of the Mo Review Brigade guys, so it's pretty curious that he would be so transparent here. Um, and, and, you know, the idea that its writing is an issue. It remains to be seen if there's a moment when Rings of Power will be able to kick into a different gear and convert skeptics. Well, yeah, but when, bro? Halfway through season one, we are starting to bring the characters closer together and perhaps more storylines will intersect. More big battles will be on the way. 
but for now the show has had trouble making the kind of Game of Thrones level impact that Amazon wanted to see. Oh my god, it's so far from that. I think that it's like legitimately worse than people think. I think internally Jeff Bezos is freaking out. I think that the writing staff will be replaced, almost certainly. I mean, if they don't, I, you know, how slow of a burn are we so, 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 so expected to endure is what I'm saying. How slow of a burn am I expected to endure here? I've already given you almost five hours of my life and nothing has happened. We've had some, like, uneven representations of orcs where, I don't know, are they afraid of the sun? Can they go in the sun? Can they not go in the sun? Do they only fire arrows at inopportune times? Are they just based off stormtroopers? I, I thought we were supposed to be afraid of orcs. Orcs seem pretty skilled in terms of, like, generic soldier versus orc. They were pretty even. Now, the Fellowship obviously could handle dozens of them at a time, but that's the story. What's clear is that Amazon is in this for the long haul, and I would expect them to see their ultimate vision for the series, though barring some sort of massive viewership collapse that even through all of this, I doubt we'll see, they are committed to the project, though perhaps they will absorb the feedback and make some changes in the future seasons to attract the sort of audience that appears to be rejecting the series at the moment. I mean, you can see the backlash now, too. People remember. So what you're saying is that we're not all racist and sexist. We just have good taste and little time for terrible writing. Uh-oh. And this is, look, and the thing is, like, I don't want to, I don't want to pummel the guy for being honest, but this is a guy that has talked at length about review brigading and a guy that has signal boosted people who have attacked the fans. Not maybe in this particular case, but in video games. You see, it's quite clear to what I've seen in the comments across the internet, which audiences are racist, which have legitimate criticisms of how the show is being run. Maybe it's an age thing. Having been on the internet since 98, I've seen it all, and the trolls are always so obvious. I have to agree with the real criticisms of the show, certainly, but I'm going to stick it out. I have to imagine that Amazon wouldn't spend this sort of money and then cheap out on the lore like it seems adapting a story that literally lasts thousands of years and not doing it as an anthology isn't easy while i bitterly writhe at the changes to the established lore like Celeborn, uh, i have to keep reminding myself that they must have had at some point in pre-production had to decide what making a story can be filmed and make money had to trump following tokens lore hopefully to a point and you can see, the show had been review brigaded by people offended that black actors could play elves. It was brigaded long before it came out, like The Little Mermaid. It's being brigaded now. Disney has released a lot of lackluster live adaptations for money. Lion King, Pinocchio, etc. But if The Little Mermaid isn't good, and given the record, it likely won't be, the people offended by black mermaids will feel justified. At least this Forbes article admits it. A lot to try and pretend like the greater than usual amount of rage is really over something else, but it never really makes sense. Casting controversy, it's called here, from a country where people worship a white, blue-eyed European Jesus, you'd think people wouldn't care about racially accurate casting, even if it's fantasy. But it turns out, race matters. However, the reason the show lags isn't because it's, quote, too woke, or daring to cast someone who isn't white, it's just boring. It looks great on a big TV, but the episodes start to drag on. So in short, it's suffering, at least so far, from not being too woke or bad action, as all the reviewers claim before even seeing it, but just being kind of boring. They're still, still, they'll use it to say they were right all along. That is a hilarious cope, right? I don't think, this is like one of the biggest um, bologna sausage arguments that a lot of people will throw it. Uh, they'll say, well, you just don't like black people. That's a blah, 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 right? No, when we talk about woke casting and putting a, and like, Disa's a great character, actually, in the show. But the, the, 
I think what people never understand is that when we see casting agents and stuff like that try to like differentiate and make and make things like woke that aren't woke and they obsess with that kind of stuff, we already know their head's not in the right place. With Token, we know that they're not staying true to the lore from Jump Street. We also know that like when they spend all this time worrying about checking diversity boxes, they're not spending that time writing an amazing story. And in life, there's a finite amount of free time. And you can have articles like this. Fantasy has always been about race. Yeah, okay. Sure. We can have that. But we can also have the facts of the matter. I mean, the facts, if 20 plus million people have watched Rings of Power, like, why is there only 15,000 reviews? And by the way, every single recent review, here's another, the entire page of most recent reviews are one out of fives. Bad casting, bad script, bad acting, doesn't capture the magic of Middle Earth, poor presentation, evil cannot create anything new. Fair review given and not approved. Bad form Amazon. Nothing I posted was inappropriate. Originally gave it three stars. Simply stated you stray from the storyline. Now you get one star. Had my hopes up. One star. Regrettable. One star. No. Reviews are being censored by Amazon. They know the show is absolutely horrible. It's a dumpster file all around. Deleted Amazon Prime because of it. Well, good. That's what you got to do. Stop giving people like this money. Do you think they can turn it around? <laughs> I mean... I said last week, oh, we're going to have to wait to see the next episode. Maybe, I mean, I can't literally wait any longer. If the next episode isn't a bombshell, mad action sequence, stuff getting tied up and things getting fast forward, then I don't see any saving this show. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below and you hit that red subscribe button too. And we'll talk to you again real soon.